Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221. In this video, what we're going to see is the implementation of the PWM. So let's go to the presentation. So uh, in the previous video, we saw how to configure the PWM. Uh, what is the PWM? So the idea is to, let me just hide myself over here, is to connect our output of the plc okay to one of the relays that we have okay in my case i'm using a different one that i'm going to show you later but we have in the offer let me just do, do, do. open this this cut we have in the offer all the catalog here you have different solid state relays okay and in my case i'm using this one okay so as uh, so i don't have anything else to test to be honest uh, i'm using a lamp okay so we can see the different state of the lamp okay from different um duty cycles of the pwm you can also use a heater and then in the heater you can for example um measure the temperature of the area so you can play with the PWM output of the controller okay so the idea now is to open the previous application that we saw okay which is very simple and then link a percentage NW variable to control intensity of the lab so if we go back to our project this is the project okay this is the function block for the PWM I have configured everything on the configuration push generator okay and i'm going to use this output so if you go to programming now i have created a table so i can control the neighbor of the pwm and also play with the duty cycle of this so if i show you the uh pa -pa -pa -pa. don't this one no this so i have the relay Okay, the solid state relay, okay, not the uh, standard relay, otherwise it's gonna burn. And I have this lamp. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is to enable the PWM and it's gonna be 100 percent So you can see now the lamp is on. So if I play for example with the duty cycle with the 90%, okay, you should be able to see in one cycle. Okay, so it's gonna be off. If I start reducing this, you can see that the the time in off is start increasing. Okay, as you can see now, I feel like going to 50%, it's 50, 50. Okay, now more time in off and so on and so on. Now in zero. Okay, and now full again. Okay. You can also play with the frequency. Okay. In my case is the uh 10 milliseconds the time base, and then you can play with this. So if we go back to the presentation again, depending on the time base, you have different percent the values. Okay, so this one is the uh low frequency, okay. But if I press one, it's gonna be high but it will depend on the characteristics of the solid state relay that you have okay for the um uh, output okay so for example do, 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 let me see if they are over here uh, da, da, da. you have different type of switching okay uh, do, do, do. Do, do. Do you have zero voltage okay uh, let me see if there is over here. This is the C output. So you have zero switching, random, and then this is switching, but it's not doesn't apply with this one because it's uh, other current. Okay, but you have different switches, so you need to check the characteristic of the switching and the and the power that you require in order to control the load that you're going to work. Okay, in my case, I use just a lamp, but you can use a heater, and then you will need to check on the power. The, the current that you're going to use for that one you can see as long as you go you go into this um 
catalog you can see different range of low that you can use okay so that will depend on the characteristics of the low but this one is just a quick example okay of how you can um do, do, do. quick example how you can uh use the pwm with a low just to show you how it changed depend on the value of the duty cycle so you can really see it okay so this is just a quick interpretation of the PWM but you can use a heater and then you can measure the temperature you have in order to regulate the uh, the duty cycle so this is it for the PWM implementation thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one